this was a, a great episode. I love the way they keep um, a special episode a week later than its, than its actual release date. And this was perfect. 367 was in doubt a beautiful history episode. The way Hashirama and Madara um, first met. And um, I don't know if you guys noticed. I don't know if you guys waited to the, the, the very ending. But we actually got a new ending to to this, you know, the entire series, and I think that's going to be there. But what's upsetting <clears throat> is that the opening is still being kept. This this crappy opening that not that many people really like. Um, personally, I do not like this opening. I think it's run its course, and since they changed the ending, I felt that you know they should have at least changed. Sorry, it's hot. They should have at least changed the opening um, for this episode. So we start off with um, Hashirama skipping, of course. You know, he's crap, he's crap at um, rock skipping. And, um, but, you know, that's the first time he met um, Hashirama. And basically, Madara doesn't like when people stand behind him. But in first, I mean, Hash yeah, Madara doesn't like when people stand behind him. At first, you know, Hashirama throws the rock, you know. And he's, his personality is much more cuter than it was when we see him when he's older. And, you know, it's, it's, it's like a big... He's like a big baby with, with a huge amount of power, you know? Um, we got to saw the little brother, that, the really little brother, the one younger than Tobirama. And to see him killed by the Uchiha like that was very heartless. We didn't get to see the blood spot or anything, but... When Hashirama first saw his his brother laying there on the rock, it was just a sad thing to see. We never got to see any of the um, Uchiha death because, of course, it's Hashirama's flashback. Um, you know, Madara isn't the one telling the story. It's Hashirama. And, you know, he said that, you know, Madara was one of five, you know. And now he only has one more left. And, of course, we know how that last one died. And it's very sad. Uh, you know, I mean... Hashirama's um, brother's still alive, but all of Madara's, you know, his siblings are just gone, and it's a sad thing. To, wow, it's a sad thing to know that in the future he's gonna have no more siblings. He only has one more sibling left. And um, moving on to Hashirama's father, in the manga he seemed a bit obnoxious, but they made him look more brutal and fierce in this one. If you could compare compare him to Itachi's father, to Sasuke's father, there's a slight resemblance of his um, douchiness, you know, his, you know, his spiritual, you know, uh, his enlightenment to protect the clan, you know, everything is about the clan, Shinobi should die for the clan, do this for the clan, do that, that was just like Sasuke's father, that's how he thought, and that's what Hashirama's father is like. I think that's what all the clans are like. Um, you know, for this entire war to be breaking out, if you read the manga, you know who's behind it. And it's a sad thing to know who's behind it. But to see all these different clan symbols, um, it's interesting. I love the way that, you know, Hashirama and Madara was sitting on top of the, um, the mountain there. Well, not the mountain, the edge of the, yeah, the rock climb. The rock, after they did the rock climbing, they sat down and looked upon the entire forest, and it was a beautiful fight to sight to see that, hey, that's where the stone faces are, you know? They sat where the stone faces, you know, were built. They are the founders of the entire village. It's a beautiful sight to see. And, you know, I loved it. And you really have a good um, sense of how strong Chakra was, because it wasn't a rock climbing. And we see, we've see seen that with... Um, Kakashi and Guy when they rock climb, but for kids to do that that fast and that strong, it just goes to show you how strong and reliable Chakra was back then. You know, in that era, it was very strong. You know, it wasn't passed down to that many. But now, in the era that we're in right now, there's a lot of Shinobi, and they have limited amount of Chakra, no matter what clan they are from. Whether it be Hashirama or Uchiha, well, the Uchiha are gone, but, you know, and, I mean, if you look at the Uzumaki clan, their chakra now, I mean, it's, it's just in Naruto, Kirin, and other, 
you know, um, Uzumakis, and they need spiritual energy to get that much chakra. But back then, their chakra was just there, and it was passed on from Indra and you know the the past, you know, sage of the six paths, Hag Hagoromo. Spoiler alert. You know, who passed down the jutsu. Um, <coughs> well, his was Ninshu, but... Read the manga as explained. But yeah, this episode, the animation was beautiful. I love this episode. The history was on point. And I cannot wait for the next one. Um, I hope the animation is as good as this one today. Whenever they delay an episode, it looks good. This, ch I think this went through two chapters. I'm not sure. I think it went to went through two chapters and it, it was good I loved it you know just to the secrecy and not telling each other's um, clan names was a good thing because I don't know if they told each other their clan names at that time I wonder how it would have played out you know would they have fought each other then who would have won would it have been Madara or Hashirama you know they're both skilled as, as Hashirama's father said Madara has killed a lot of um, Senju adults, Shinobi. Not kids, adult Shinobi. And we don't know how many Hashirama have killed. I don't even think that he's killed any. I think he's just a protector of his own clan. But in all, short, I felt it was great. Love the ending, hate the opening, you know? But anyways, um, quick update, you know, my episode reviews are going to be kind of late. I'm working a lot later than usual now. This thing just stick me in my chest, fuck, you know. But yeah, um, not that many people w watch my reviews, but thank you for the likes and the subscribe. It's all up to you. I really appreciate it. You know, I like when people watch my reviews because I don't give biased reviews like most people out there. There are some anime reviewers that do very well and some who are just biased towards certain characters. But in all, love this episode. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next week. See ya.